Sorry, I'm trying to come up with new and exciting ways to say hi. You could say hi in different languages. I could. I could say aloha, but then I'd be forced to stop the video. <laughs> You'd be forced. <laughs> That's confusing, man. Like, how the fuck can they justify that shit? It's almost like everything that people are doing now, where they're saying, oh, that's the opposite. <laughs> well, they've been doing that shit in Hawaii for a long time. So, uh, I did stand-up comedy last night. And I was the last person to go up. So I said, I'm going to try to get there early. And the sign up was at 10 o'clock. I think I signed up at like 10, 10, 10, 10, 15 or something like that. Oh, that was so cute. There was like a, a dog. There was a dog that was sticking its little head out the window. I love it when I see that shit. Um, okay, so. Uh, so yeah, that was a fail. I was literally the last person to go up. And if you're the last person to go up, you, you only have like three minutes instead of four, but whatever. I just thought it was funny because like if I had gotten there any later, somebody else would have been able to sign up. But I got there at exactly the right time. But, uh, yeah, man, that was interesting. Uh, there were a bunch of drunk people hollering literally the entire time that I was doing my set, which was kind of obnoxious, but at the same time, I figured that I should just get used to that shit. So, that's the cool thing about just not giving a fuck, is that... You know, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can't get mad when you don't give a fuck. It's like, I do sets and like there are certain people, I've mentioned this before, but I'm mentioning it now because I didn't care anymore. Like I didn't care that there weren't certain people in the room still you know like I'll see somebody and I'll get excited because I'll be like oh man they could relate to this joke they will get this joke they will understand this they will agree with me but then they leave and they go get a drink because they don't give a fuck about anybody else's set and <laughs> I don't blame them for that especially seeing all the other sets I mean they're pretty bad Luckily, there wasn't too much anti-Trump shit going on last night. I think that's just a Twin Kegs thing. <laughs> I highly doubt that's just a Twin Kegs thing. I think that's probably like all over the country thing, all over the world thing. Yeah, well, um, I ended up getting into an argument with uh, my friend again. But that's okay, though, because like... I don't know, I'm glad that I have friends that don't agree with me. Because it's always cool whenever you find somebody that does agree with you because the chances of that are so slim. <laughs> but he told me, he was like, you know, I think that you support Trump because you think that everybody else doesn't support Trump and that like that's just what you're supposed to do. And I was like, you know, that's a fair point. You know, that's a fair point. Like, I'm the devil's advocate. You're right about that. Um, and there's been a lot of like, you know, accusations against him. And not just like racist accusations. Um, it's, you know, based on, you know, stuff that he says, you know, I completely understand why people think that he's a racist because, you know, he, he sounds like a racist. But, like, what, where I look at it is like, I just, I don't, I feel like, 
what makes you a racist is like your fucking actions. And I'm not saying that you have to be in the KKK or anything in order to be an actual racist. But as far as like his belief that like Central Park Five were guilty and all this shit, just okay. I know that this is not popular opinion, but just looking at the court case, it seems like they are. Now I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe this is a giant conspiracy against them. You know, maybe I need to look into it again. But just reading like the the details of the actual case, um, it seems like they did it. So, uh, but that's me looking at the the details of the case. That's not me going along with the media, um, one way or the other. So. I guess that's another topic for another video, but like, once again, not just going along with it because Trump said that. I mean, I thought it was fucked up when I first heard that. They're like, oh man, he, like naturally, that makes him so racist, right? I also looked into all the sexual assault allegations. Don't you love how I'm like talking about sexual assault allegations and drinking like my protein shake? Um, here's the thing, like my friend and I got into an argument mainly about like women and like whether they lie about shit. And he was like, I can't believe that you think that most people lie about rape and stuff like that. And I'm like, I think that they do it for attention. I think that they do it for validation shit. And you know, he, he was like, well, you just hate women, and I don't hate women. I just think that they're lying sacks of shit. There's a huge difference. I mean, that's not a hatred of women. That's a hatred of the action. I think that women are more likely to be lying sacks of shit because they have more of a reason to be lying sacks of shit. If they if they can, can gain any sort of fame or any sort of um, money, money. <laughs> I mean, it happens all the time with, you know, like uh, domestic disputes and like divorce court and all that shit. Like, I just don't understand like why, I think, I think what it is, is a lot of men right now, they feel pressured, you know, to be like feminists or they feel pressured to like say things that are supportive of women and promote women and all this shit. And I'm like, you don't have to do that, man. Especially if women are strong, we can hold our own, right? 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 Oh God, speaking of women holding their own. I know I'm about to start my menstrual cycle. I'll be fine. You know why I'll be fine? Cause I got the mega tampon. <laughs> oh my god. I'm only four minutes late. <laughs> that was me looking around at myself. Happens a lot. Look at this bow tie. It fell apart. Isn't that depressing? Look at that shit. But, like, no, we were talking about the sexual assault allegations in relation to Trump, and he was like, I think you should look into it. So I did look into it. And uh, so, um, of course, the first accusation came from his former wife, Ivana. Um, a statement which she recanted, and now apparently they're the best of friends, right? Um, now, there's that possibility that she could be lying about that and that she's actually terrified of him, but he has a lot of money, so he lawyered up or some shit. Um, there's always that possibility, right? Um, but there's another woman that made an accusation back in 97, filed a lawsuit against him. Um, but then she ended up working for him as a makeup artist during his, uh, campaign and all that shit. So it's kind of weird. Like, why the fuck would you work with somebody? Why the fuck would you work for somebody that supposedly sexually assaulted you? And her excuse was, look, I needed a job. Okay. That doesn't make any sense to me. You're a makeup artist and you're apparently really good, so you could work anywhere else but for and with the motherfucker that sexually assaulted you, supposedly. But most of these accusations came during the election. So, forgive me for my skepticism. 
it's not that I don't think he's a son of a bitch. He clearly is a son of a bitch. But unfortunately, a son of, being a son of a bitch, that's not an impeachable offense, okay? Um, and their star player of the Russia collusion shit, you know, couldn't even testify in court. Probably because he's a prosecutor and that's not his fucking job. Um, so, I, I don't, I mean, he acted like he was fucking recovering from a hangover. He was shaking like a dog, man. I felt so bad for him. Even though I think he brought it on himself, but at the same time, I still, I still have empathy for the man. I do. He just looks so sad and pathetic. But, yeah, I mean, he didn't even know about Fusion GPS, man. He had no idea what the fuck they were talking about, so obviously he didn't write the motherfucking report. Anyway, I'm still looking into the shit, though. I'm not just supporting him just to be obtuse, okay? I just am very skeptical when people are all saying the same shit about somebody. It's just like... Especially when it involves the media. When it involves the media, then it's like, oh, this is probably false. That's just like my natural reaction, you know? It's just to be skeptical. But I don't want to be like, I'm, I'm in danger. I, I don't feel like wearing my IRS hat. I feel like wearing my Miller High Life hat. Um, because I'm the High Life, because I believe in the Lord. Um, I feel like there's that danger of, you know, wanting a hero. And when you want a hero, you'll, like, throw out evidence that's not going along with, like, what you want to believe. You know? And that's bad. For obvious reasons, that's very bad. And I don't want to fall into the same trap that I think everybody else has fallen into with wanting a monster, wanting a villain, wanting a person to blame everything on. A scapegoat. He does make a good scapegoat though, doesn't he? But that's what's funny about it, is that so many people, they, they think he's a villain and so many other people think he's the hero. So this is an interesting time, man. It's an interesting time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go inside. Now I'm probably 10 minutes late, so I'm closer to my CP time bracket. <laughs> it's 5.08. I was right. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, I just don't want to be the same as everybody else, but I don't want to be some idiot Trump supporter either, because they will believe anything, especially in relation to him, because they think that he's some messiah. They'll believe anything. It's a very scary time. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.